Welcome to Syrup number 20. The star of our show today is the Airstrike unit. They're one of the most powerful units in the game that are very hard to master. You have to get the timing just right for maximum efficiency, and our lead game designer will tell you how to do just that. So stay tuned and enjoy the show. The airstrike is a support unit that rains destruction from above and deals huge damage to enemy ground units. Um, a strike can be one of the most deadly units in the game and destroy multiple enemies at once, but they can also be completely insignificant in battle if used incorrectly. So what are the main differences between the different airstrike units? Uh, let's take a closer look. Okay, we now have three types of uh, strike and they are all offense-based. Uh, however, they are unique in the way they deal damage and there are different tactics for each. The first type uses a skill called Bomb Run, uh, which deals a large amount of damage to an area. Uh, this type has the safest and most guaranteed way of uh, dealing damage. The second type uses a skill called Napalm. Uh, it deals damage over time in an area and slows enemy. Uh, if there's a large group of enemies concentrated in one area, or if the unit has a, a high armor rating, the commander can be very lethal. And finally, the third type uses a skill called Walking Bomb. Uh, it deals damage to a very long area and can also stun enemies. Um, this commander has a much larger blast radius than the other two, but it deals less damage and can not hit turrets. So how do we use our strike in the most effective way? What are the best tactics? Let's have a look. Uh, there are a few things to keep in mind when, you, when using our strike. The first one is uh, the air strike takes time to reach their destination. So timing is the most important factor. Uh, the easiest way to make sure you hit enemies is by making sure they're standing still and engaging your units already. Secondly, make sure your airstrike isn't damaged on the way to the target because they'll deal reduced damage in that case. Uh, air intercept units are your biggest threat, uh, but AV and infantry can also greatly reduce your unit's potential. Uh, so ideally, you'll want to deploy an airstrike right after the enemy uses an air intercept so you know you can't be countered. And finally, this may be obvious, but make sure your airstrike unit is at the appropriate level. Units have a reduced hit rate against higher level enemies, and with airstrike, this is very important. If you miss the enemy, then you just waste a unit. Hey Jack, thanks for being here. Hi Jim. So a player this month is asking, would there be a side for a terrorist campaign such as the Army of the Forgotten in the future? It's possible, but there are a lot to consider. We have two factions right now and are working on the third one, which is already quite a lot. Aside from the production cost, we also need to consider the gameplay impact of another faction and splitting player into four groups. To be honest, I don't see it coming in the near future and uh, we need at least to see how the game feels with three factions. That makes sense. Thank you very much, Jack. Thank you. Hey there, I'm here with Quick Blueber, the newest member of the End World Online team. Hi. So some of you may have already talked to her on the forums, but today she'll be introducing our June Contributor of the Month. This month's winner is Jen Via Moran. We mentioned him in last month's C-Trip, and since then he finished two chapters in his End War Ruby crossover fanfiction. It's really a great read, so we encourage everyone to check it out. Congratulations! Thanks for watching, and we really hope you enjoy the show. Alpha 0.5 is already live, but if you didn't get in, keep an eye on our Facebook page for official Alpha Key giveaways. See, See you on, on the, the battlefield. battlefield.